Welcome to .NET 8 and AI Building a Real-World Resume Screener. This is Professor Manish Narayan of Innovative Institution. Thanks guys for joining the course. This is going to be the introduction where I'll walk you through the high-level system architecture uh, and then I'll show you a demo of what we're going to build out so you get a feel of the, the course. So in front of me I've generated a diagram that showcases all the technologies we're going to use. Again, I'm going to add more features to the course as we progress, uh, but this should give us a good start. So if you see on the left side, if I zoom in, we're going to use a React Tailwind-based uh, template, and I'm going to show you how to set that up and download it and everything. So here our client's going to be React, single page app, okay? Um, in the server side, the backend side of things, we're going to have in one service, let's say it's a microservice for .NET 8, that's going to be our core API, okay? And also for some of the artificial intelligence, the agentic and RAG stuff, uh, we're going to go with Fast API. So that way we have Python living on Fast API um, that can handle our interactions with OpenAI. Okay. Um, again, I'll you know make the course flexible. You know I'll have a switch in there somewhere so we can use an open source model as well. So we'll get to all that fun stuff. Uh, so basically we have, again, in our server side, uh, .NET Core, uh, .NET 8 web API, um, and then we'll have a fast API um, that's going to host our Python application. Okay. Uh, now for the eventing side of things, the distributed side of things, uh, basically we're going to have RabbitMQ running. Okay, um, and we'll have the RabbitMQ management tool that's baked in, okay, with RabbitMQ. Our backend, any sort of transactional data, we're going to store in PostgreSQL. Uh, and then for some of the embeddings, the um, vector embeddings, we're going to take advantage of uh, PG Vector and PostgreSQL. Okay, uh, all of this is going to live um, again on Docker. All right, so I'm going to show you how to set up your containers, your Docker files, and uh, basically our entire stack here uh, can just run on a Docker command, all right? So um, again, high level, we have a React front end, all right? That's going to talk to our back end um, microservices, uh, one of which is going to be a .NET 8, and the other one is going to be a fast API with Python, all right? And we're going to use RabbitMQ for our broker, our message bus broker, all right? Our backend database is going to be PostgreSQL plus the PG vector, and we'll talk to external APIs, uh, in this case, OpenAI's API. All right. Um, let me run you through a demo of the application. So as you can see here, I'm running this on localhost 5173. Uh, in this case, uh, I have a Tailwind um, React-based template. Um, think of it as an admin dashboard. So we're going to download a free one, uh, and then we'll we'll tweak it to set up our front end, okay? So as you can see here, we're building out a resume screener. Right now it shows zero candidates, zero jobs, zero rankings. So very high level, I'm gonna first create um, a new job, okay? So we'll call it Cloud Architect. And uh, I'll go on Google and just grab um, some description of an existing job that's there, Cloud Architect. All right, I'll just grab some of this data here. And I'm gonna punch into the description click on create job. Okay. So now notice I created the cloud architect role or job. So what we're going to do next is create a candidate here. Uh, so I'm going to enter my name here. I uh, will say manishatest.com, enter a uh, phone number, and then I'm going to go ahead and paste some resume text. Again, let me grab the resume text. Um, so for example, uh, senior uh, cloud architect, with over 20 years of experience. Again, I'm, you can copy and paste the resume and paste it in the box here. Uh, working with, I'm just gonna make up stuff here. So AWS, Azure, uh, GCP, okay. And um, so that's it. So what I'll do is create this candidate. Okay, so you'll notice the candidate's been created. Okay, nice, simple, clean UI, right? Now the AI part of things, all right? So basically, uh, once we have a job description, so in this case, Cloud Architect, and I do have a set of candidates, we're going to rank the candidates. So basically, uh, when I click on Recalculate, uh, we're going to have 
um, a background process, which is our fast API in Python. Um, it's going to take, you know, embed our data, embed our candidates, embed the job description, um, go out to OpenAI uh, using their API, uh, and start to rank the candidates and score them against uh, the job description. So I went ahead and calculated uh, the rankings. So I'm going to load them here. And perfect. So notice it says, uh, here's a candidate and here's a score, 0 0.62. Okay. Uh, and this was generated, the justification was generated via OpenAI. So Manish Rai is a strong match for cloud architect due to his senior cloud architect experience. And again, the more candidates you add here, uh, you'll start to see uh, them ranked, you know, with their resume and, and background against the job. So uh, let's have fun setting this up. I'll see you in the next video where I'll showcase uh, kind of the environment setup and uh, then we'll get to the folder structure. Hope you have a great time in this course. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to post on Udemy. And uh, in this video, you'll see a link to the architecture diagram. By the way, I'm using eraser.io. Feel free to try that out. Um, you can create a free account there and uh, you can actually use AI to generate uh, diagrams, which is pretty cool. Um, have fun and I'll see you in the next video.